This is so much fun. This is insane. This is really insane. Ooh, I just destroyed that guy. I just destroyed him. It's super intense. Yes! Scored! Alright, so we are going to play Rocket League in VR. First thing, get Rocket League. I'm using the Steam version. I don't know, is there still an Epic version or did they translate over to Steam? I don't know. I'm using the Steam version. Go down to Rocket League, right click on it and go to Manage. Manage and Browse Local Files. And then we're going to go into Binaries and then Win64. And we're going to copy some files into here. Uh, I will have a link in the video description to this Rocket League Geo11.zip. And if you... So we're going to extract the files in there, these files, and we're going to extract them into the folder, the Win64 folder. And I'm going to... Th what these files are going to do is they're going to make it appear in 3D. I've already configured them. Uh, if you, you can modify these files to some degree. The DX or the D3DX.ini, what can we do in this one? You can upscale with this one because the resolution you put your monitor at is going to affect the quality of this. So like if you have a 4K monitor, you could actually set the resolution to like a lower resolution, like 1080p or, or something, 1440p. And then you can use this. You can go down here and set upscaling to one. And then it's by default. These should be removed for this to work, but for some reason it already defaults to 4K and it works at 4K. Um, so you could have the game setting resolution set to a lower resolution and then have this upscale it to 4K and gain a whole lot of performance or whatever the maximum resolution is that your monitor is set to or can do. This monitor can only go up to like 2560 by 1440, something like that. But I actually have, I have the dynamic super resolution set up so I can actually go up to 4K. So if you have this, you can't have this scale up to a resolution that your monitor doesn't support. Also the D3D xdm.ini, this file, you can change a few things, but I don't think any of these things are, okay, convergence. I have convergence set at 1024 and separation set to, to, set to eight. Oh, I also have, let's see, the other file, go back to d3d.x, hunting. Hunting is set to zero, but if you set it to like one, you'll have like an on-screen display and then you can modify your separation and your convergence by like control F4 and F3 and, and F5 and F6. But I think the settings I have them at are good, so you probably shouldn't need to do that. All right, so you extract that there. That's one thing we're gonna do. Another thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here to Bacchus Mod Download. You're gonna download this file. It's an executable. And then when you run it, it looks like this. It's some kind of a, some kind of, it's a mod injector for Rocket League. And as far as I know, you won't get banned if you just use their, it like doesn't work for, um, you can use it for training and you can use it for a private match. But I think the private match has to be set to unlimited time. So, um, but this is, this is where we get the first person perspective, which you don't need. We can still play it in VR in beautiful 3D, uh, but this way you can also do it with uh, first person by for, you get the mod injector and then you go here and you click on install with back as mod. This is first person. It's pretty intense. It's really pretty intense. When you install back as mod and you fire it up before, like right after you install it, go to file and go to check for updates. It will check for an update. It will update itself. It'll prompt you to update and then, and then close it and then go to this URL first person mod plugin and then click on install with back as mod this will come up click on open plugin installer.exe and then it will open up this screen here it'll do its thing and it says it's going to be installed next time you run the game so then when you run the game just hit f2 at, well no run the game wait till the game launches then alt tab out of the game fire up back as mod wait till it hooks the game it says it's injected might take about 10 seconds or so, then go back into the game. Might take another 10 seconds or so before you can hit F2. And then those options will come up and you can enable first person. You don't have to do the first person part to play it in VR. Uh, it looks amazing. It's super fun. I also have been playing it on my 4K 3D monitor in the other room. I, that's amazing too. That's really amazing. If you have a high quality 3D screen, uh, it's really a great way to play it. All right, we're gonna need this uh, Depth 3D VR Companion app. 
And this is going to be, this is, well, you could also use virtual desktop. Okay, so if you're using your Oculus Quest, you could use virtual desktop. Virtual desktop costs 20 bucks. This app here is free. The, the thing is with this app, you'll have to connect to your computer using AirLink or Oculus Link with virtual desktop. It just, you know, it does it wirelessly on its own. That's 20 bucks. This is free. So, and this works great. So you'll download this app. It's an executable, and then you install it. And when you install it, here it is, VR Companion App Launcher. So first what you have to do is you have to connect to your, you have to connect to your computer with your Quest using AirLink first, or Virtual Desktop if you have that. But we're gonna, we're gonna do this because it's free. Virtual Desktop works great. In fact, I actually have a laptop with an integrated GPU that this free app doesn't work in because it complains about the integrated GPU versus the dedicated GPU, the NVIDIA GPU on it. Anyways, I can't get it to work on that one, but virtual desktop works great on my laptop for this. Going to kill this. The VR companion app, I am going to click on Oculus VR. All right, okay, it gives you some health warnings and whatever and whatnot. It's got these, okay, it goes away. All right, there we, ooh, infinity mirror. Okay, so, um, I can use the arrow keys. If you hit tab, wait, no, if I hit slash, backslash, pipe, it brings up the key map. And yeah, okay, there we go. And you can see what you can do. And what we're going to do is we're going to curve this guy around us, and then we're going to get closer. All right, now I'm going to fire up Rocket League. Here's how we got to do this. Okay, um, okay, close that. Fire up Rocket League. All right, now Rocket League is in side by side, but if, hit, if I hit the right control button, Wait, watch. Boom. Now it's actually in 3D. Now I can see it in 3D. Now, before we get to first person perspective, I'll show you. Um, you can just play, you can just play this way. I'll show you a quick example. Before we, before we go to first person perspective, let's go to private match. Just, okay. You can also change like up or down. But there's so many things you can do. And this is in 3D and you can, Okay, this is actually really fun. And so this is regular perspective. Oh, it's kind of glitching out on here a little bit. Maybe because I'm recording. So I'm not good at this game, but I do really enjoy it. Okay, I am... Oh, that's right. I think I'm playing this one in slow motion. Okay, anyways, this is really fun. Like, this is super fun, and I would highly recommend this. No! Yeah, okay. I, I scored on my own team. Okay, leave match. Okay, so we're going to go back to the main menu, and then we're going to fire up the back is mod. Okay, okay so, so we fire, fire up back, back is mod. mod. We, have, we to have to do this after, after we launch. launch. Rocket, Rocket League. League. It's injecting, injecting DLL. DLL. Press, Press F. F. Okay, so now, now we go in here. Remember, Remember we, we already installed, installed the third, third party, party plugin. <laughs> Alright, so now we can press F2, and this comes up, and we just go to plugins and first person camera, and it's already set to enable. Now remember, you have to install this plugin where I showed you to click before, and it will automatically open up uh, this app. And now watch this. Now if I go to, again, it's only for train. This part's only for training, but you could do um, also a private match with your friends, but it has to be set to, um, let me turn this down. The private match has to be set to unlimited time. So you could just do your own thing, but here we go. Watch this, this is gonna be crazy if it works. I don't know, sometimes it does this. Um, this does not look right. I don't know what this is about does this sometimes to me. That's actually only the second time it's done that. All right, let's try this again. Private match, create a match. Why is it doing this? Is this like a bug? This must be a bug with this plugin. So let's try this again. It's not supposed to do that. Yeah, see so we have a um, match length set to unlimited. All right, create match. What? Huh, let's see, what is the problem here? F2. Plug in, use a first person ball cam. Use true first person ball cam. Oh, okay, here we go. 
All right, this is pretty sick. Plus, I have the screen wrapped around me, so it fills my field of view horizontally. Check this out. Oh, yeah. You can turn off ball cam, or, you know, facing the ball. It's more... that makes it more realistic. So I am orange. This is so much fun. This is insane. This is really insane. So you could play with friends like this uh, as in a private match, but again, you would have to have it set to unlimited time. Probably unlimited score too, I'm not sure. I haven't tried that. But you can't use this on like public online matches. It, it doesn't work. Ooh, I just destroyed that guy. I just destroyed him. Oh yeah, that's where I want to go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get out of here. Orange. Whoa, what happened? Did somebody hit me? Nice. We scored. I have to say, it is pretty amazing playing it from first person perspective like this. Like, like you're in the car. It's pretty intense. It's super intense. Yes! Scored! Scored against those bots. These are all bots. They're rookie bots. See, and now you can see it from the regular perspective. Boom! Nobody was defending. Alright, I think I'm going to call that. Hit the app. Alright guys, so that is how you can play this game in VR. Um, wrapping the screen around you is something you can also do with the virtual desktop. I just was showing this because it's free. You can also use big screen beta. Um, it just doesn't look as, as good and it's not as smooth. But I actually did make a private room the other day and I did big screen beta and I had like two or three people watching me play the game. And they're like, how do you do this? How do you play this? And I wasn't doing first person. I was just doing regular view wrapped around in 3D. Actually, it depends on the environment. I don't think it was wrapped around big screen. Anyways, but my point is that you can use different apps. You could use big screen beta, which is free. You could use virtual desktop which is 20 bucks. I believe it's 20 bucks. Or you can use this VR companion app, which is free. There might be some other apps that you can use. Um, some, if there's some app that gives you like really low latency access to your desktop and can do side by side, then, then you should be able to do that too. So, oh, also let me know if you have any other ideas other than virtual desktop or the VR companion app. Um, there's also this, oh, there's also this app called Kitanga, which is part of Helix. Um, let me see. It's part of Helix Vision, um, but it's it uses the same API to copy the desktop as this free VR companion app here does. Uh, it might render it differently, but I know it uses this because I was getting the exact same error message on my laptop when trying to use it as I was this one. So my laptop only worked with um, virtual desktop. But again, if you're using, you don't have to have a Quest for this. You could be using like Windows Mixed Reality or Steam VR. Like if you have a Valve Index, uh, just launch it. You know, if you have a Valve Index, Steam VR, or for some reason I couldn't get Windows Mixed Reality to work. Was it on my laptop? I don't know. Maybe it was on here too. No, I think. No, I think it was my laptop. I don't think I tried it with my Samsung Odyssey Plus on on this one yet. So, anyways, all right. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't like it, uh, subscribe to the channel, join my Discord server where I can answer questions, although sometimes I am kind of checked out of there for a while, and uh, leave a comment, and I'll catch you guys later.